Hi there, welcome to some DIY, my name is Ben. In this video we're checking out a Ryobi grass trimmer. Okay, as existing electric grass trimmer broke, battery powered one, it was a McAllister one from either Tool Station or Screwfix or Wix. Uh, one of the own brand uh, ones. Really, really good. Uh, we've had it for a few years now, but the bottom plastic element broke beyond repair. So we've got Ryobi tools. I've got other videos on the channel, which I'll link to somewhere up here. Um, we've got combi drills, um, impact drivers, glue guns, all sorts of stuff on the Ryobi now. Trap think as well. Oh, sander, we've got orbital sander. But anyway, rather than get another brand of uh, uh, battery power trimmer, we've got Ryobi already, so we've got Ryobi. There is a deal, there was a deal, oh, I don't know if it's on anymore, where you spend 99 pounds on a four amp power battery and you got a free tool. So you pay, spend 100 pounds on a battery and tool basically. So that's what we went for. We've got the four amp hour battery with charger plus this Ryobi strimmer. So in this video, super simple, we'll get out of the box, take a look at it. Um, I've got some accessories with it as well. I bought some extra strimming stuff with it. Um, and I think the battery will be in here as well. So we'll check things out, see what it's like. Nice and simple, head outside, strim some grass, um, obviously. And then we'll um, we'll do a bit of a review on and power of it um, compared to that old McAllister. We do have a petrol strimmer as well, which I've got for other areas of the garden. And we'll compare it to that. It obviously won't be as powerful, um, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'll get it unboxed and take it from there. Okay, here we have everything out on the table here. So the battery, I've got, let me just get this battery out and show you. It's a four amp hour battery. I've only currently got two amp hour batteries. Um, it's a chunky little beast that is. So you see there, hopefully compared to the two amp hour, it's obviously about twice as big, funnily enough. Um, but it does look the same in terms of the layout, how it charges, but it came with a charger as well. So you're spending 99 pounds on a charger, four amp hour battery and getting the free tool, as I mentioned. Um, so more, some tools are more than others. So Ryobi batteries, plug into that and that will charge. So we'll charge that in a moment. Um, I guess you could use a two amp hour battery on it. It just won't last as long, but yeah, that's that. Um, so what it came with was um, the built-in strimmer head is, or, uh, is in there already. So that's just there, it's got some Strimmer already in there. Well, I won't mess with that. So it came with that. It's got the handle, which will attach the kind of handle, which will attach there, and that's just for uh, easy use. And then you've got the bottom strimmer guard on it as well, so you don't get uh, grass flying back at you. So super simple. Um, what this does have that my last one didn't is three different kind of levels of cutting. So you can have flat, so it cuts flat. You can have slanted, but you can also, uh, so you can also go to other angles as well to cut straight down to get that edging perfect as well, which I've always wanted to do. If everyone didn't do it, I had to kind of hold it and uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's all comes part of this built in. So I think there is another strimmer that's slightly better than this one in terms of speed, I think. And obviously speed meaning probably a more aggressive cut can maybe cut more grass, I don't know. Um, <coughs> So that's what, that's what came with it anyway. What extras I got, I got this, which is a lawn trimming blade. So this fits onto here, and then rather than using strimmer wire, it's these plastic attachments that cut rather than the wire. So I'm thinking, I think it's for more tougher stuff and maybe some weeds. Um, and I do have areas where there are some weeds growing around the walls and stuff. So I've got it for that, so we'll see. I'll try it out. I got one, one of them. And I got some extra blades about them. And all the other stuff I got was some extra reel. And I got a replacement spool and cap as well. So I bought another one of them. Um, just for ease more than anything. If you're, if you're mid cut and you're lazy and you need to put more uh, strimmer wire in, you can just swap that out. But anyway, that's everything I got. So I think rather than just ramble, I'll get the battery charged. We'll get outside and we'll strim some grass. And then we'll come back in and I'll give you my um, overall first impressions of the strimmer.
Okay, there you go. There was some footage of me doing the strimming on the back lawn. So we've got the grass out there, needed a cut. So I did all the strimming on the edges with that. And then uh, I've got a lawnmower that I did the rest of it with. First things first, much better than the previous one I had. So the previous uh, one, McAllister, I can't remember which uh, place I bought that from. I have a screw fix or tool station. But the Ryobi one, much better in terms of power, much more powerful. Um, so I could tell just straight away. Obviously not as powerful as kind of like a petrol strimmer, nowhere near. Um, but much more power to get around the edges, absolutely fine. Um, it cuts away some of the weeds and some of the kind of branches growing from small bushes as well, really easily, I found. Uh, but yeah, miles easier to use, miles more powerful. Um, and also the kind of comfort of it as well with the handle, because um, you can adjust the length of it, really, really good as well. So overall, really, really pleased with it. Really good value in terms of that four amp power battery. Uh, the strimmer itself came in for £99. I'll probably get another tool in maybe a few months. I've got my eyes on maybe a circular saw or the jigsaw as well, the battery powered one, because I've got corded ones of them at the moment, which can be a pain. So yeah, we'll see. I'll keep an eye on that. I think the offer runs most of the time, uh, but I'll see if a better one maybe comes up in the future as well. So I'll link below to Ryobi in terms of, it's not an affiliate link or anything, but I'll just link to it anyway on, on Ryobi where you can get the tools yourself. Um, I'll also link up here and in the description um, to the other videos I've done on Ryobi. So far, so good. I know there's a little bit of a thing about Ryobi in the trade, but at the end of the day, I'm a home DIYer. I look for the best value for money. I could spend tons more money on tools and they probably would be better. But for the amount I do use them, which is not every day, not every week, the Ryobi stuff so far has been really good. I can't complain. Um, interchangeable batteries across the whole range, really, really good. Um, and I will just keep adding to my, um, to my collection, basically, Ryobi. So overall, Really enjoyed using the strimmer. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video or it's been informative if you're looking at the strimmer or any or any of the other tools. If you have enjoyed it or it has been informative, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down. Any questions about the strimmer, about the other Ryobi stuff, please drop that in the comments section. I'll reply to all questions and comments. Any feedback, usage tips, anything like that, again, drop it in the comments section. Always looking for feedback. And if you want to follow the Houston DIY channel for more product reviews, home DIY projects, tech reviews, and much, much more, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next one.